I'm going to show you how to fix your risers on your staircase now. The, what I've done is I've put a slight chamfer or taken the arris off the corners of the riser. So when it sits in the groove of the staircase, it goes in slightly easier. You don't have to do this. It's just a little tip. Um, for riser one, basically it obviously sits in the groove of the tread. So we put that in, make sure it's up tight in the tread. Now, obviously it's too long. So we need to mark where the string is there and up there. Okay, so we pull this out, mark that and simply cut that off. I've already got one cut down, which is here again. It's got the Aris is taken off, so simply, now we need to glue the front face of the block, glue in the groove, glue the front face of the block, and glue on the top edge of the riser. So when that, I'm not gonna do this for the demonstration, but make sure you do. And that literally sits in, simple as that. So we're gonna screw through into the support block, Make sure you check when you're fit it, fixing that the block is, is behind where you're putting your fixing because obviously we have no fixing here. He says looking for screws. Make sure that riser is in tight into the top of that groove, because that is what stops the squeaking, or part of the squeaking. Again, make sure this is up tight. Make sure you drill where your block is, so you can get a fix in into the block behind. That's the first one fixed. That's the easier one. Okay, the next one again, it's gonna sit in there, but this time it's gonna hang down and we're gonna fix into the back of the tread below. So, again, taking the arras off, just so it goes in the groove easier. Glue on the front face of your support block and your support block. Glue in the groove. Glue on the back of the tread below and on the top of the riser. You're actually gluing this twice, but I just wanna make sure there's loads of glue in there. Now this can be quite tricky. Obviously, this is 900 wide, what we've made the staircase. So this is how it comes in the pack. Um, so if you've cut them down accurately, this will be a tight fit because both your tread and your riser are at the exact same height. So you're now trying to fit them in. So it could be quite tight. Simply, Put it in on an angle, so you're trying to avoid, I haven't got any glue, but you will have. I'm trying to avoid the glue on the back of there and the glue on the front of my block. So I get that in a good amount and literally spin it in its place. Okay, so that's nice and tight into the tread. We're gonna fix into the back of there into the back of the tread and we're going to fix into those support blocks. So knowing where to fix, get a combination square, put that on the back of the riser and on the back of the tread and that is 22 millimeters. So that's the bottom of the tread. The tread thickness is 22 millimeters as well. So I want half of the tread. So when we get a fix in, I'm going into the middle of the tread because you don't want it poking out or below. Although it's not end of the world, you can just take it out and re-drill. But so I'm going to add 11 mil, so that's 31 millimeters. So I go to 31 millimeters, and simply draw a line. So now I know that that line is the middle of that tread. So when I drill and screw nice and straight, 
I wouldn't get one going out the top and one going out the bottom. It would just stay within the, the tread. Make sure it's in. I find working right to left this way so you can get your arm behind if it's the riser's bowed or you're struggling, you can still get your hand behind to, to control what's going on. Again, make sure this is up tight. Okay, I'm gonna go around the front and screw through the riser into the block behind, like I've just done here, but on the next block up. Again, make sure you know where your block is behind. In my case, I can see a small shadow. I'm basically repeating exactly the same as what I've done here. So that's riser two fixed. So it's fixed into this block and this block, four screws, two at each end, and then fixed into that tread. Now again, we need to repeat the same. Again, chamfer, glue, glue on the front face of the block, front face of the block, in the groove and on the underside of the tread. Again, get this in on an angle. As you can see, it's tight because it's the exact same size as the treads. Let me just cramp the stairs down a minute. Okay, I've gone in on the angle again, because I don't want to get, on yours you're going to glue, obviously. I don't want to get this glue all over the riser yet. So at the moment, I've got no glue touching anything. It's still everywhere it should be. And as soon as you turn that riser around, all the glue touches. So get it as best you can. And then pivot it round. it if you need to give it a tap with a hammer it doesn't matter because this edge has no purpose so you don't have to redo the measurement for your fixing they will all be the same even if you're on winders the, the, the how much that steps down is the same all the time. Okay, I'm gonna go around the other side and fix into the support blocks.
Okay, so that's the third riser. Again, repeat exactly the same. Get it in as far as you can and then pivot. That one was a little easier. Again, that's up tight. Okay, I'm gonna go around the front and fix into the blocks. So there we have it. I'll just get this down to show you. Also, um, you need to fit uh, squeaker blocks onto your staircase. In the pack, you get a couple of lengths of 27 by 27 softwood, cut them into 100 mil lengths. Plenty of glue on two faces. And basically, they sit where the riser meets the tread. You could, if you, if you pre-drill them, they can sit in there and you can screw up into your tread. And if you want and feel the need, you can screw through the riser into that block as well. And you want to do two of these on a tread. So a third each way, a third and a third. Okay, these are called squeaker blocks because that's what stops that tread from moving in the riser, which is why you want your riser in as far as you possibly can up to the top of the groove because it stops the tread from moving. This is just a secondary secure. So one, two, on all the treads. So that's your squeaker blocks. Loads of glue, doesn't matter if it runs down, it's not a problem. So there we have a 900 wide staircase, five tread, one, two, three, four, five is your finished floor because you'll uh, supply the nose in in the riser spare. Um, again, 900 wide, but if you wanted to make it 800, you just cut 100 mil off before you even put this together or whatever. So that's how it makes it any width. And obviously we followed our template, which is template letter A, which will suit our floor to floor exactly.